Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to solve first order reducible differential equations. So in differential equations, a reducible first order differential equation is one that can be rewritten or reduced to a simpler form, making it easier to solve. So in example 1, we've been given the substitution that y equals ux to show that this differential equation can be written in this form and then from this form we can use the method of separating variables to find a general solution to this original differential equation so if we begin then and we say that y is equal to ux then we can find dy by dx by differentiating ux using the product rule so we have u we differentiate bx and we get 1 plus bx term. When we differentiate u with respect to x, we use implicit differentiation and we get du by dx. So now we have our dy by dx term, we can substitute this expression into our equation. So we have u plus x du by dx is equal to be x plus 3y but y is ux so plus 3ux all over 2x so now we can move this positive u to the right hand side and we'll simplify this fraction so we get x du by dx is equal to these x's will cancel so we've got 1 plus 3u over 2x, sorry, over 2, minus the u. And now we can simplify the right-hand side by writing this u with a common denominator of this 2. So we get 1 plus 3u minus 2u all over 2. We can simplify this again. So we now we get x du over dx is equal to 1, 3u minus 2u is just 1u over 2. So this is what we were asked to find here. So now we need to use a method of separating variables to solve the original differential equation. Okay, so we can see in this form, we've got u's and the x's on different sides of the equation. So we're going to put all the u's on the left hand side and the x terms on the right hand side so we'll begin by moving this fraction to the right hand side by reciprocating it so we get 2 over 1 plus u du is equal to and then we can move this x to the right hand side becomes 1 over x and then this division of x to the right hand side as well so now we've separated the variables. Okay, so now we can integrate both sides. We have the integral of 2 over 1 plus u du with respect to u is equal to the integral of 1 over x with respect to x. When we integrate the right hand side, we get the natural log of 1 plus u. We'll put this in mod brackets, and this is multiplied by 2 which is equal to the natural log of x plus our constant term. And because we've got the natural log, I'm going to say the, the constant is the natural log of k. So you can see in the question that we've got a power of 2. So I'm going to move this multiple of 2 to the power using the power rule. So we get the natural log. Because it's going to be squared, I can put it in curved brackets. And this is equal to, we can apply the multiplication rule here. So we get the natural log of x, k. Now we can raise e to both sides. The natural log and the e will cancel. So we've got 1 plus u, all squared, will equal x, k. But remember that this u, we can write in terms of x and y. 
So from here, u will equal y over x. So now we'll substitute that back into here. We've got 1 plus y over x all squared is equal to xk. And then we'll expand out this bracket. So 1 plus y over x multiplied by itself. We'll expand out these brackets and we get 1 plus 2y over x plus y over x r squared. And then we can multiply everything by x squared. So we get x squared plus 2yx plus y squared will equal x cubed k. And then finally, we can factorize this quadratic. So we get x plus y all squared is equal to x cubed multiplied by k. And this is what we were asked to find. Okay. So in example two, we're going to look at a similar idea, but this time using an integrating factor. Okay. So in example two, we've been asked to use the substitution that y equals 1 over u to show that this differential equation can be written in this form. And then when it's in this form, we'll use the method of the integrating factor to find a particular solution to the original differential equation. So if we begin, we'll say let y equals 1 over u to then dy by dx. If we differentiate this, we get minus 1 over u squared or minus u to the power of negative 2. We're doing this implicitly, so it becomes multiplied by du dx. Then we can substitute this expression for dy dx into our differential equation. So we get x multiplied by negative u to the negative 2 du by dx plus this y, and y is given as 1 over u, so 1 to the u to the power of negative 1, is equal to x squared, y squared. And when I square this, I get u to the negative 2. So if we go back to what we're asked to show, we've got du by dx, but now what we need to move is u to the negative 2, negative, and the x. So the first thing I'll do is I'll multiply everything by u squared, and that will cancel with this term. So now we've got negative x du dx plus u to the negative 1 multiplied by u squared becomes u, and u to the negative 2 multiplied by u squared will cancel, so we've got x squared. And now I'm going to divide everything by the negative x. So we get du dx. And then u divided by negative x becomes negative u over x. And this is equal to x squared divided by negative becomes negative x. And this is the form we were asked to show. Okay, so now we have it in the right form, we need to find the integrating factor. And if you remember from my previous video, the integrating factor, well, if we have dy by dx plus py equals q, the integrating factor will be the p term. This will be e to the integral of p with respect to x. So I'm just going to rewrite this differential equation to make it more obvious which term p is. So du by dx minus i'm going to split up this u and x term so we have 1 over x multiplied by u is equal to negative x so now can you see that this p term is negative 1 over x so we have our integrating factor p this is negative 1 over x so we're on e so the power of the integral of negative 1 over x dx, where well, the integral of 1 over x is 
natural log. So we'll have e to the power of a natural log of x. And if negative, we can move to a power. So x to the negative 1. And e to the natural log will cancel. So our integrating factor will become 1 over x. So now we need to multiply every term in our equation by this integrating factor. So if we multiply du by dx by 1 over x, we'll do the same to be negative 1 half x u, multiply this by 1 over x, and we'll do the same for negative x. And then we can tidy this up. And this becomes x to the minus 1 dy by dx minus u, then x to the negative 2, and then this x and this x will cancel, so it will equal negative 1. Now we can use the reverse product rule, where d by dx of x to the negative 1 multiplied by u is equal to negative 1. And we can integrate both sides with respect to x. This dx will cancel with this one. The integral and the derivative will cancel. So we've got x to the negative 1u. The integral of negative 1 becomes negative x plus c. I'm going to move this x to the negative 1 to the right hand side. So we'll get u is equal to x and I'll tidy this up so I've got c minus x but now if you remember we have u well we can say that u in this case is equal to 1 over y and we'll substitute this in so we get 1 over y is equal to x multiplied by c minus x so therefore y will equal 1 over x multiplied by c minus x. And at this point, we can use the boundary conditions to find c. We were told that y is 1 6, so 1 6 is equal to 1 over x, which is 3, multiplied by c minus 3. So we know this denominator has to be equal to 6. 3 times 2 is 6, so c must be 5. And then finally, we can substitute this c back into our equation for y. So y is equal to 1 over x multiplied by 5 minus x. Okay? This is our particular solution. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, MrMathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.